It's almost like y'all want to click out on somebody. Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your July soul session. I'm Princess India. <laughs> if you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend. If you are okay, if you are not familiar with what my soul sessions are, they are your spirituality as well as personal development readings in which we look at the energies that you guys may experience for a given month for the sole purpose of giving you clarity, insight, and guidance in you all that other kind of good stuff. I'm going to throw out there because it became very important with uh, us just coming out of June and June being the course correction month. It's the midpoint of the year. It's a time of the year in which we um, take time to look back at what we've accomplished, what we still need to accomplish moving forward. So for those of you who are woke bookers who have the 2021 woke book, now is a good time for you to put that data to use because, you know, those of you who have it know that, you know, it teaches you how to watch my soul sessions and has worksheets for you to jot down how to do this and all that good stuff. Anyway, first card that you guys have that popped out Coming out of June into July is the strength card. So of course, well, that is Leo energy. So in a sense, Cancer, you guys are coming into, happy birthday, by the way. You know what I'm saying? Happy solar return. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, uh, but you guys are coming um, out of June into July in a place of um, personal power, if you will. However, I do still feel elements with this of you guys um, holding yourself back, but holding yourself back uh, in a way where, how can I say this? It's almost like, I'm just going to say it how I feel it. It's almost like y'all want to click out on somebody or something. I mean, this could be how you're feeling about yourself. It's almost kind of like um, grinning through a situation, um, trying to hold back the beast, if you will. Um, the next card we have is the Six of Cups. So there's a tad bit of uh, nostalgia about the past. Also, for some of you guys, this can have to do with your kiddos too. Um, where, say in some sense, if you, it almost feels like if you guys are trying to bounce back from something, right, that happened in June. So this would be something that, kind of either got jerked from you like you know pulled the rug from under you type of deal um and it's kind of trying to hold it together if you will if you will this could also involve a leo person you know what i mean or this leo person could kind of be acting as a protector for you which could be your kid if you guys have leo kids and the whole thing is is almost using your relationship with your child or your connection with your child there's a lot I'm getting from this. Your connection with your child, and I don't want to say it like this. I don't want you guys to take that wrong. Almost like a distraction from what's happening or what happened. So it's almost like finding strength in your fatherhood or your motherhood, if you will. This could also be like a, um, a younger sibling. So the whole vibe I feel, y'all, and I'm just going to say how it's coming to me. Say hypothetically, if there was, you know, say you're a, a, a girl, right? A woman, <laughs> not many girls watch my channel, but anyway, you're a woman and say you were dating this guy for some time, things stopped working out in June. So listen for the energy signature and this I'm not saying this is literally happening, but you were dating this guy up until June and June things didn't work out. However, throughout the course of time that you were dealing with this person, I don't wanna say that it's that you were neglecting your kids or child, but it's more or less you were spending less time with them because maybe the person you were dating schedule was like chaotic or they could only see you at certain times and it kind of caused you to take a step back from your kiddo, right? And the relationship didn't work out and it's almost like a feeling of like shame or like guilt that you're carrying with you because of being in a situation like that. And now it's kind of refocusing on the child. But with this queen of pentacles in the reverse, and I kind of do want to clarify these cards just to kind of get uh, some more insight as to what is going on here. But um, it's 
almost trying to make good on past decisions or trying to make up for where you guys may have uh, feel like you dropped the ball in the past. But this Queen of Pentacles says to me that um, there was some sort of loss. It very well could have been a financial loss. So where you guys may have loaned money to somebody or something of the sort. The next card that you guys have is the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. And that really speaks to me about Gemini season, right? So that's the season that we're coming out of and coming into cancer season. And I feel Gemini energy for you guys was very transformative in a sense. Um, not necessarily, it's kind of a benign energy. It's not necessarily good or bad. It's just the fact that the energy you guys are coming out of was transformative for you. The whole purpose of what you guys have been through up to this point was to align you with your strength or to get you to refocus on what it is that is most important to you, right? And then the energy that's over the entire collective with Gemini energy, it was all about making a choice between the false self and the authentic self, you know? So this entire year, um, in so many words, is a preparation for, um, and then the North Nodes in Gemini too. So that's where it falls into the collective energy. So this entire year, 2021, is in preparation for what it is that you want to manifest in 2022, like what it is that you want your life to look like. So it's kind of like getting bumps and bruises and skinning your knee, proverbially speaking, in order to learn what's important. Okay. Ah. The strength card is clarified by adjacent possibilities. So this is something that ended. So it's a path. So I use the example hypothetically of a relationship. It doesn't have to be that for everyone, but it's more or less you guys were headed down a path in June, right? Well, prior to that, but in June is when it came to a halt, right? So whatever it is that you guys were going in the direction of or putting your time, energy, and effort into, it's like that path ceased, right? The door closed, right? The thing that's important for you guys to realize is to not get sidetracked by how you feel about this door being closed. And it's honing in on the knowingness that when one door closes, another one opens, right? But whatever it is with the Six of Cups, that you guys are refocusing on whether it's your kids whether it's nurturing your inner child you know what i mean whether it's about reflecting on your past or how your life was before this situation and wanting to get back to that is not allowing this feeling in this queen of pentacles in the reverse to overtake you and make you feel less than not good enough to beat yourself up over what has transpired up to this point and get stuck there because the important point with this lover's card is there's a need to make a choice every single one of us those of you who have the woke book know this if you go to the month of june in the book and there's um like a page that gives you the theme for the month and the theme for the month speaks of a crossroads that all of us this month are going to be required, like the vision that I got, to pick a side, right? No longer will anyone be allowed to straddle the fence from this point forward. It's like you have to pick a side. Either you're going to step into your authenticity or you're not, right? There is no, I'm going to be authentic sometimes and I'm going to get back into my inauthentic self type of deal, right? But I feel with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, it's an energy that um, is almost like a dark distraction that's trying to lull you into um, falling into old behaviors that you have grown out of or that you've recognized aren't in your highest good. Now, the next card that we have is the nine of wands. After that is the six of wands. It's so interesting. So here's the deal. With this nine of wands, it's speaking to this fear that's related to making a decision or making a choice. So the whole thing is, I feel for cancers, and I say also, more woke book stuff, <laughs> the collective at large, because we're in cancer season. So this is something that the whole collective is dealing with as well. It's more or less this irrational fear about stepping outside of your comfort zone, 
when you're standing before this crossroads because we're all being backed into a corner and the energy is saying pick a side right it's the thought with this nine of wands of looking at the past like and not the good stuff right six of cups is remembering the good stuff nine of wands is more or less like wounded warrior you know ptsd thinking about all the things in the past that went awry when you stepped outside of your comfort zone when you took a chance when you trusted someone when you believed in someone it's like that didn't work out so why would i take this chance again right but the reason why all of these things these fears are being resurrected or if the strength card is representing a Leo person, you know what I'm saying? Why this person is coming back into your space is because you need to make a decision to make a statement of who it is that you want to be. Because however it is that each of us choose to progress forward in every day when we're making choices and decisions, whatever it is that we're choosing about anything, every choice you make every single day of your life is a statement of who you are in that moment, right? So it's taking a step back and thinking, what choice do you wanna make? What statement do you wanna make of the universe? Don't allow fear or you, know, you feeling shame or you feeling guilt or you not feeling good enough, not allowing that to rob you of what's possible in the future, right? Because if we get stuck there, we can easily choose to repeat the same cycle that you guys have repeated up to this point or the cycle you guys were stuck in at this point. But the Six of Wands says to me <laughs> that there's no concern, my Cancerian friend, because I feel with the Six of Wands that you guys are going to make the right decision. So it's a declaration of victory. So I've said this with another sign. I can't remember who it was in June I said this to, but this is almost like a liaison phase. It's a lot of things are coming up for you guys this month, whether it's people from your past or it's memories from your childhood or you know reconnecting with your kids or your sibling or you know your own inner child right not allowing the byproduct of choices you've made in the past to allow you to feel less about yourself right but to make a choice moving forward not based on who you are or what you've done or what has been but making a choice in alignment with who you want to be and not allowing fear or disappointment from the past right to determine what's possible for you in the future so whatever you see victory as whether that's that job you're thinking about, whether it's you going back to school, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's you being a, uh, your definition of what a better parent is or whatever the case, it's you making one step in the direction, right? Of whatever victory symbolizes for you, whatever your ideal self is and making the decision to go in accordance with this door that's closed and not mourning in front of that door if that's making sense. So I'm gonna pull a surrender card for you guys. I resurrected these daddies. Whew, child, this is like my favorite, <laughs> my favorite, favorite Oracle deck. And I have not used it in eons, but I started using it on um, my network and readings. So I'm gonna pull a surrender card for you guys to see what would behoove you to release in the month of July, my Cancerian friend. Look at that. Surrender to play. Take a break from overthinking a goal. Do something fun. <laughs> play is a time of recreation and rejuvenation. And I feel that's important because if a lot is on your mind about progressing forward, and I talk to you guys about um, how to break out of an energy that you're stuck in, the best way to move out of an energy that you're stuck in is if you're feeling stagnant, you counterbalance that, stag that stagnant energy with movement. So whatever the polar opposite is. So if you're not enjoying yourself and you're sitting and you're ruminating and you're thinking of, you know, all this other kind of stuff and, or you have writer's block or whatever the case, you just feel stuck. The way that you counterbalance this energy that I'm seeing in the middle for you guys is by doing what's extremely counterintuitive and actually enjoying yourself, you know? pulling out your Xbox and playing a game or, you know, <laughs> painting a picture, whatever your definition of fun is, is doing something that's enjoyable to you 
and don't allow yourself to think things like, oh, I don't deserve that. Like, this is really serious that's happening. I don't have time to play. It seems very counterintuitive, but I promise you the solution to whatever you guys are grappling with is going to present itself to you during this playtime. You know what I'm saying? So anywho, that's been your reading, Cancer. I'm going over to my network to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me on over there. But if not, I still love your freaking face. And I will see you guys sooner than later, my friends.